Good day, viewers. I am Hazel Patricia Bernat, and I'm Richard Nash Mercadal, and we're from PASA, Philippine Aeronautics and Space Administration. So, partner, where are we right now? So, we are here at Holy Cross College of Kalina to interview some students about their thoughts and ideas about astrological phenomena. So, watch this. So I'm Rosalie Sinclair, and grade 1 student, section OSS. So upon hearing the word astrological phenomena, what comes to your mind? Well, upon hearing the word astrological phenomena, the first thing that came to my mind is that it has to do with the um, events that is linked to the phenomenon of the stars and other celestial bodies that eventually affect the behavior and the behavior. So can you give me one astrological phenomena that you've experienced and your beliefs about it? Um, I really don't have any like, very strong beliefs about astrological or whatever that, but um, just um, my observation from people, like they believe it's really cool, like there's something that happens to the animals, like you can hear howling, you can hear some noise that is completely I don't, I, I don't know what's the meaning behind that, but yeah. So, thank you so much. Thank you. So, my name is Daniel Denise Amigo, and I am a graduate student of Marlena Brothers. Where does the star came from? The star came from the clouds of dust and gases. Those gases pull together into a cloud. The cloud spins, the star atom starts to bump into each other faster and faster. Astronomical phenomena that I've encountered is meteor shower, and then when I saw a meteor shower, I wish upon it. That is my day. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Susan Maria, and I'm grade 12, our lady of Guadalajara. So, what are the things you consider as astrological phenomena? Astrological phenomena in terms of celestial events. These are like phases of moon. How stars are born and a lot more. Yes. Yeah. Then what is your belief about it? According to my Lola, just if there's anything, there might something unusual things happen that causes bad luck. Why do beliefs such as horoscope and zodiac sign be a astrological phenomena? Uh, astrology is the study of positioning of planets and star, which people associate to uh, behavior or psychology that has influenced people. So, if we say um, astrological phenomena, for example, are subject signs like for example, Gemini, Cancer, and so on, like Tetris uh, also, is an astronomical phenomena. But then, if there is a human intervention that people um, gives meaning to it, like the belief of Chinese, uh, only proves that the moon ate the dragon, so it is an uh, astrological phenomenon. So now, we are going to correct the different beliefs of our interview. As what Ate Daniel said, it is true that people make wish when they saw a meteor shower. Given the magic associated with shooting stars, it's no surprise that there's more than one superstition linked to them. While many cultures suggest that gazing upon these stars brings good luck, and some believe you can use shooting stars for more precise purposes. As what Ati Marie said, it is true that if there's an eclipse, there might something unusual will happen that causes bad luck. In addition, it is said that good and bad deeds are multiplied during an eclipse. As what Aterok said, it's true that some animals are affected by the moon's presence, just like the howl of the wolves. But it's not the moon, it's the light that's affecting them. When there's more light, they are more likely to be more active. That's why they howl. As you've heard the different ideas of the different college crushes, we hope that you
you already have the knowledge about astrological phenomena and already know the different facts about those beliefs. Again, I am Hazel Patricia Bernat and I am Richard Nash Mercadal and this is PASTA. Stay observant, stay curious.